All right, so we're going to continue the series. And in today's video, I want to just talk to you a little bit more about the benefits of acting and doing some of the things that I'm talking to you about in this series and incorporating them into your life versus staying where you are now. Just look around and this is only for you if you feel like you don't know what your life purpose is and you feel like you are just moving through life and maybe you are taking what life gives you. Maybe you have to react instead of respond. Maybe you are living life in a very reactive mode instead of being proactive and actually being in the driver's seat, taking control of your life and making things happen in your life that you actually want to happen. Maybe like I talked about in several videos back <laughs> that you just drifted doing whatever, doing all the things. If you look around your life, what you're going to find is that if you try to maybe change your situation, maybe you move, maybe you change your career, maybe you try to change your partner or you switch partners or you change all of your external circumstances, I bet what you will find is that things don't change. You still may notice that there are patterns that crop up and they follow you in life no matter where you are, no matter where you go, no matter who you are with. And the reason for that is because ultimately when you want to live a better life and you want to have different for yourself, the changes come from doing the inner work. So if you are someone that doesn't understand that, maybe you've not been taught that, maybe you don't know how to do that, then you're not going to actualize the true potential that you could have in your life, the true changes, the true transformations that you could have in your life if you don't do the inner work work. You could always change. You could always shift. You could always grow, but you're going to hit limits. You're going to be frustrated. You're going to run into blocks. For some of you that maybe should feel successful, like maybe I was, you think you have everything that you should need and you should be happy, but you still feel unfulfilled. You still feel like this nagging feeling like, man, is this really all there is to life? Like all of these different things that we all go through in various stages of our life. None of those things go away until you learn how to connect to who you truly are and learn to live life from that space of truth and authenticity and learn to truly know what it means to live life on purpose, live life with intention and to match the power that you have with the power of outer intention. Until you do that, whether you know it or not, you will always be living a disempowered life. And disempowerment means that you're just giving your power over to other circumstances, other people, other things, rather than leveraging it for yourself. And you can do this knowingly when you wait for other people to join you in order to make better decisions in life. Or maybe you stay in situations that you know deep down inside you don't like or you wish that they were better. Or you could do it subconsciously because you're not living life proactively. And so you're attached to other people's intentions or other people's dreams, such as think of the CEO of your company. It doesn't mean that everybody has to be an entrepreneur, but I bet your CEO has a vision and you're a part of their vision, fulfilling their dream and you don't even have one for yourself. That is the consequences that you suffer when you don't learn how to do the significant mindset work that is needed in order for you to get rid of limiting beliefs, um, when you don't learn how to reprogram thoughts that keep you stuck from reaching your full potential. That is the consequence of you not learning about how you can leverage spiritual tools in order to help you tap into that divine energy that I talk about and leverage the laws of the universe in order to make yourself more powerful instead of relying only on your own time and power and energy. That is exhausting. And actually, you're not even relying on your power if you're doing it all yourself. You're, you're relying on force. There, there's a difference. And I teach my clients that. Now, let's talk about what it it would look like if you did learn some of the things that I teach you about some some of the things that I really work deeply with my clients about especially in private coaching so number one they learn who they are 
we strip out all of the BS, all the stuff that everybody taught you, society, parents, our bad experiences in life that have taken away our confidence and our self-esteem and all of those things. And we learn how to move through forgiveness. And then I teach you through that space to find out truly who are you? And from that space, once you know yourself, you know the core of who you are, you can then learn to set goals. You can learn to connect to your purpose. You can learn to live life with more intention. And when you do those things, you also inherently are tapping into your inner wisdom and the wisdom of the divine. And then not only that, because I love tarot and astrology, all of these things, I call them life hacks. You get to bring in all these life hacks that actually help you to do the things to help you tap into that divine energy, that inner knowing, that wisdom, that divine energy, that wisdom, that intuition more accurately, more effectively, and more quickly so that it just helps you to become more powerful. And when you are doing those things and when you are walking in power and when you are walking with a definite purpose, aiming toward a definite purpose, that is where magic happens in life. And, it, and you just don't do it in one area of life. You do it in seven different areas of life. I teach clients how to do it in seven different areas of life because we all navigate about seven little sections of who we are, such as our career, finances, love, spirituality, personal, all that kind of stuff. So you learn how to align yourself and reprogram yourself and leverage energy so that you're actually being powerful in all areas of your life, which means you're not stagnant, you're not stuck, you feel like you have power, you feel like you have purpose, you feel like you have aim, you're living life more proactively, all of the things. So anyway, if this sounds like something that you would like, you're tired of being that first version of yourself where you're not really living the life that you want to live and you want to shift and transform into what it would be like if you didn't have to live that way anymore, then just know that I opened up the rest of my 2020 calendar to accept private coaching clients. I will leave the website below for you to read all about it. I'll leave it here too somewhere. Um, and I'll, you can go and look at the website to gain all the information that you need in order to be able to see if you would like to work with me. Now, if you would like to work with me, there's an application form that you fill out and we get on a Zoom call. We just talk about it. It's free. It's not a coaching call. It's not a sales call. I'm not trying to sell you anything. At this point, I'm just trying to see if I can help you meet your goals. And if so, we can get started right away. You have access to a lot of different information as well as my support and my wisdom to help you grow, help you transform, and help you shift like 100% of my private clients have been able to do. So if this sounds like something that you would be interested in and you want to stop being that person that's not experiencing the outcomes you want because you're not taking action or you're taking the wrong action and you want to know what it feels like to act effectively and efficiently and not waste energy, then I invite you to check out my website. You can also email me, yashikasintuition at gmail.com. You can DM me whatever you think that you need to do to get in touch with me so that I can help you live a better life. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye. Bye.